And markers. Everyone's ready? Take four, five. No excuses, university. Take five. It feels like a perfect time to work towards college and fall directions. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hi, I'm Tim Heller. I'm the principal of Fairfield High School. Um, our school is very diverse. Uh, we're 22% uh, white, 27% African American, 35% Hispanic, 10% Filipino, and the rest is everything else. Um, lower, most of our students are lower socioeconomic students, um, and uh, in Fair, the city of Fairfield itself is, is one of the most diverse cities in the country. Uh, Fairfield High School, uh, historically, the last 10 to 15 years, uh, has been a low-performing school. Last year there was a WAS visitation um, that resulted in a two-year WAS accreditation, which accounts for approximately, that means that we're in the lowest 3% of high schools in the entire Western Hemisphere. Our test scores have been flat for 15 years. Uh, student achievement has been flat for, for that same amount of time. We've decided to focus on academic traits because achievement is more than just learning more content or learning how to test well in that content area. Um, research shows that students that are successful have a series of traits or a set of traits that allows them to be successful. So the, the 12 different traits that we've decided to focus on are the six character traits that are listed here, trustworthiness, responsibility, fairness, caring, citizenship, and respect. And those are the traits that we're promoting through um, a number of different initiatives this year and that will continue in years to come. The six academic traits that we've chosen and have just started to focus on with the students and staff as well are self-regulation, grit, resilience, laser focus, conscientiousness, and creativity. FHS is starting a new tradition. Be a part of it. Yeah. Order your graduation lay to wear a graduation day online at fairfieldhigh.com on your graduation. basically being the person that you know like you'd be proud to be friends with and just like in people's attitudes like uh, especially towards this push towards college like people's attitudes towards like oh I need to go to class and um, I need to be focused well I'll be the first person to go directly to a major four-year university well college has made me realize that I need to further my education to be able to get the job that I wanted, you know. Let's say like if I graduated high school, I'd probably get a job that pays about thirty thousand a year, but I really want one that could give me like those six digits each year. So college has really made me think about my future. Uh, this school year we decided to concentrate on the culture of universal achievement and collaboration because that's where that's where you basically begin turning the school around getting the teachers into the same room, talking, discussing about student achievement, and, and making decisions about that and moving forward. Next year, we're really going to concentrate heavily on standards alignment and assessment. We waited on that for a year because you really can't do those kinds of conversations and dialogues until you can talk with each other in collaboration and until you can really start to change the culture of, of the school. The, the, the essential concept of our intervention program really is not just to try to create an intervention that you plug literally hundreds of kids into. We really want to get down to individual students and their individual challenges and create interventions for each and every child. I, if there's one word that I would use to wrap up this school year, it would be relationships. Uh, the relationships that, that staff members have between each other is dramatically improved at this school. We still have more work to do in, the realm, in that realm, but, but it's definitely better. Student-teacher relationships or even student-adult relationships um, is dramatically improved on the campus as well. And many of our students now have a place to go to when, when, they're, when they're having issues. For underclassmen, I encourage them to never lose that fire to go to college. You know, no matter what, like money, whatever, like don't lose that fire and push through it all because in the end it's all going to work out. You want to be there, then you just make it happen.
University. We're Falcons, so we're proud to be. Uh, cool kid, it's the movement. Believe in yourself, you can make an improvement.